In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for PyCoreSight for the iPad. So, PyCoreSight is loaded from the App Store and launched like any other app on an iPad. You just click the icon and you're brought into it. So here's a list of all the displays that I have access to. I'm accessing my PyCoreSight server and any of the displays that are stored there are available for viewing from the iPad. So that's this big public list. It's all the displays that I have available to me. If I were to click on one of these displays, the iPad goes to the server, the server gives back data, and we're able to see the display. I can zoom out with a pinch and zoom. I can scroll through trends. That's right, and I can pull up all this data onto my iPad. Now, a variety of different displays are possible. There's displays that have just a lot of um, numbers and values. So you could put build a display like this. Or there's displays that are just trends, like this display here. This table function here shows values and a little spark trend, we call it, and then some basic statistics. And then there's displays with gauges, something visual like this. And we can also have bar charts as well. Like you can see here. And then, of course, there's hybrid displays that just have a mix of everything, like this display that has trends and a table. Now, once I'm in the display, how to navigate it? I can just swipe with my finger to change the time. I can also pinch out on a trend to, to zoom out to change the time. I can even change the time by clicking this time icon at the bottom. If I want to lock one trend to one time scale while I work with a different trend, I just need to click the time at the bottom of the trend, and I can lock it. And then if I change time for the other one, the other trend, the first one stays put. Now if I want to get exacting, and I want to see an exact value at a certain time, I can double tap on it, and I can move this cursor around and see an exact value. And if I want to know what's going on right now, I can click the Now button, and the display will show currently updating data as data comes in. We'll see the time updating. And you know that you're, you have now because you have a green icon. And you can see the time updating right here. Now, this display is brought from the desktop application. It was built with the desktop application of PyCoreSight. And from the iPad, we can view it. Now, you'll notice in the iPad, there's no ability to add or subtract things from the display. This is this is meant for consumption. So if you want to change this, you'll just go to the desktop app, which I'm showing here, and you'll see what's, simi what's similar between the two. Both have a list of values on top, a table, and two trends. And if I wanted to change these, all I need to do is just change the display from the desktop, and the display that I'm able to access from the iPad will update to that new display. If I want to save displays because I think they're just great and I want to see them again, I can press the star icon. because you can get quite a few displays, and if you only use a handful of them, you probably want to see those the most. So if I press the star icon here, we'll see the display added to my favorites. And if I unstar it, it disappears from my favorites. At the bottom, we'll see the recently viewed displays. So if you have displays that you recently viewed and you want to find it again, you can go down to the bottom, you'll see the displays you recently viewed with the iPad. If I want to search for certain displays, I can click the search icon here and search for a particular display. So let's say I want to know all the displays with batch in the name. So I searched batch and now all my displays are filtered. So only displays that have batch in the name, batch paint color, batch paint blending will appear. Now let's say I wanted to search maybe by user. So I could search for all the displays built by my friend T Brown. And now all of these displays are filtered by who made them. T Brown, T Brown. That's PyCoreSight for the iPad. Enjoy taking PyData anywhere you go.